watching News 8. Flu season is almost here, meaning now is the time to get your flu shot if you can. Maureen speaking with a health expert once again in our studio about the vaccine. Maureen. Thanks, Adam. Kathy Root from the Livingston County Health Department is with us now. You know, the flu is actually already in the news. We've heard about these people coming from overseas. They land in the plane. They land in the U.S. Everybody on the plane is sick. And it turns out these have been cases of the flu. Not only that, but Kathy, last year was really so severe. Um, one more reason why people need to get the flu. But why so severe and why is it already in the news? Um, they try to predict the year before what's going to happen with the flu season the following year. And sometimes the vaccine isn't as accurate as they would like it to be. So that could be one of the reasons. Plus, it's, it may be just spread more readily that year. Um, we've seen last year was the worst flu season we had seen in a long time. All right, so I want to uh, to wrap up this segment with one of the common questions that we have gotten in, into the newsroom today, which is, of all things, should I get a flu shot if I have an allergy to eggs. If you have, if you just get hives from eggs, then you can get any kind of flu vaccine that's uh, appropriate for your age at this point in time. If you've had a more serious allergic reaction to a flu shot, that required medical intervention, then you should really consult with your physician before uh, you get, would get a flu shot. All right, Kathy, thank you so much. Uh, more of the questions that we've been getting into the newsroom as we go along, but first, let's send it to John Kutchko, who is standing by to show us what he saw today with his camera.